currently in Jerusalem and we're just going to head out now to watch a football match. Um, I'm not really sure the standard of Israeli football. We're off to watch BRTR Jerusalem, I think that's right, versus Hapoel Tel Aviv. It's about not far from here, 15 about minutes. Half an hour walk, 40 minutes walk. Yeah, so we're going to get an Uber about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I hope. I've only know what what I know of Beitar Jerusalem is um, what I've seen on the internet, and it says they're pretty racist. They've never had we looked it up, didn't we? They've never had a um, Arabic player ever play for them. No, that, yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah. Yeah, they're proud of it as well, aren't they? It's like part of their history. They're really proud that they've never had an Arabic player. It's just I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it is. Hopefully, it's all well behaved and that. But with it being Tel Aviv, I presume Jerusalem and Tel Aviv might be a bit spicy. Yeah. I think the 9th and 11th, but I think they can get into the playoffs. I'm not sure how far like the Israeli league goes down to get in the playoffs for Israeli football, Pete. Let's go, eh? Yeah. But what's more some... important first? Find some food. Because yeah. we're not in anything all day. Yeah, it's Shabbat. It's Saturday. We're in about 20 minutes outside of Jerusalem. Everything is shut. Yeah, we're hungry. It's dark now outside, so Shabbat is finished. Food and football. Oh yes. Let's, Let's go. go. So what I forgot to say at the end, at the beginning of that other vlog was I'm using the iPhone for the rest of the vlog. Um, I'm not sure if I can get my camera in. I don't want to risk it being taken off me. But two hours before kickoff, so oh, like yes. I say, we have to get some food first. Not eat anything called that. No, this is the Teddy Stadium for Beitar Jerusalem. I think it was named after a Prime Minister of Israel, if I'm wrong. I'm sorry about that, but I think it was. It's the home of Beitar Jerusalem. And you see Ben Ayoun plays for him, so the taxi driver told me. It's about one and a half hours before kickoff, and I can hear loads of noise inside. There is the Teddy Collex Stadium. So let's go inside. 7.22. The game kicks off at half past eight. So here's the stadium. Oh, wow. Ah. That's why you can hear all the noise. You know why? It's the away fans. Is it? They're the Hapoel Tel Aviv fans making all the noise. <laughs> this, that side and this side is the Beata Jerusalem fans. Ooh. Yeah. So making all the noise is them lot. The Hapoel Tel Aviv England. England. What I've just done is incredible. I asked for a coffee. They gave me a cup of a sugar and a, a coffee granules. And you get the cup and you use this boiling hot water tank to pour it yourself. <laughs> Feel how hot that cup is. <laughs> and you're going to carry that. In, in England, yeah. oh my God, you would get sued every week, wouldn't you, with that? insulting each other not in religion but let me know please so we've got 10 minutes to kick off well 15 minutes actually so it's time to ask Pete who's gonna win Jerusalem or Tel Aviv score 2-0 two zero. Two zero. I'm gonna go with 3-2 five goal thriller last minute winner and a sending off That was a goal, that, that went in, didn't it? That was a recurrency. Oh, that looked like it went into me. Obviously didn't. They've just missed a sitter, um, Jerusalem. Absolute sitter. Still nil-nil. I would say Tel Aviv are the better team, but just getting on top Jerusalem, we just missed an absolute sitter. So second half's just started and they've got a corner already. 
to Jerusalem. It's it. Oh, I'm ball. Oh, you got. He's got to pass it there. Go on, pass. That's it. Go, go, go. Yes. Oi. Oh, that was in the new. Not kidding you, Tel Aviv's goalkeeper, sorry, Jerusalem's goalkeeper, has just made two amazing saves. Absolutely amazing, aren't they? Brilliant. And they're broken now, they've got a free kick here. That should be at least 1 0. At least. How they've missed them, I've got no idea. Free kick to Jerusalem. As you can see, we're back in the flat. My phone died, but on the 90th minute, five minutes after my phone died, this happened. So, a 90th minute winner for Tel Aviv. Um, quite deserved, in my opinion. I thought big uh, Jerusalem weren't very good. I let Pete sum the match up. It wasn't the best, was it? Well, it was very slow. Well, you go out on a last minute and just yeah dead. yeah the um very very boring game um not much action at all really there was two chances for each side but if i had to pick a winner i would say it was tel aviv because they missed at least three chances there was two chances in the second half that they should have buried oh, yeah. but it was the final quality at the end wasn't it just like they got into good positions but yeah it's just, can't do it can't do it not good enough either a fantastic experience. I'll never forget seeing a banner with the word fuck on it in a football ground full of children. Uh, I must say like the beginning when they put all the flags and mm. that big uh, fuck off to for the fans. <laughs> Not see that do you usually. No, no. <laughs> I'm very very surprised that's allowed to happen nowadays but yeah there's children and everything there seeing it but that's the way of the club. That's the way the club is. I think I said before the game they've never had an Arabic, Arabic player and I think they're pretty proud of that so that's the way that football club is, that's just the way it is, but yeah, I didn't expect to see that in a football ground. <laughs> Tomorrow we're hitting Jerusalem. Full day. Full day in Jerusalem. So from Pete. Bye. That's it, we'll see you all tomorrow for our first full proper day. Because you can't include today because it was Shabbat all day. Yeah. <laughs> first full proper day tomorrow in Jerusalem. Let me just show you our heater. It's, not a, it's not a UFO. No. Pete's going to have a right suntan in the morning. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you all on YouTube very, very soon. Goodbye everybody.